Trust me, this is the easiest main course I can ever make. Mustard roasted fish. So I've got two snapper fillets. This dish takes five minutes to make and 10 minutes to bake, and it makes its own sauce, which is even better. I'm gonna put them in a dish like that. Sprinkle it with salt and pepper, lots. You can really use any kind of white, firm white fish for this. I use snapper, but whatever looks good at the fish store. Okay, now I'm gonna make a really quick sauce. First thing I'm gonna use is creme fraiche, which you really can find in the, either the grocery store or especially food store. It's French cream and it's clotted cream. It's just great. It's kind of like using mayonnaise. One and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Half a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. I actually use both mustards because the Dijon mustard has more flavor, but I love the texture and the, and the color of the whole grain mustard. So I'm just gonna put this aside, do a little bit of shallot chopping. I need about a tablespoon of shallot. This recipe actually originally came from the woman who checks your coat at the hairdresser in Paris. The French just really care about good food. And I love that she had this incredibly simple and incredibly chic fish recipe for me. So just about a tablespoon of chopped shallots. That should do it. Give it a little onion flavor. This is really like making flavored mayonnaise, except it's with creme fraiche. And about a tablespoon of drained capers. Give it a little vinegar bite. Salt and pepper. And I mean, that's it. Just stir it all together. And just pour it right over the fish. Just spread it out. And the good news is, this bakes at 425 for about 10 minutes at the same temperature the broccoli bakes at. So you can do this all in one oven. Okay, into the oven, we'll have delicious mustard, mustard roasted fish and broccoli, and then I'm gonna make the potatoes. <laughs>